In 1948, Israel was in its formative stages as a nation, having recently declared independence on May 14, 1948. Here's an overview of some key aspects regarding population of Jews, natural resources, educational facilities, military power, financial condition, economic data of Israel in 1948. Population of Jews The Jewish population in Israel at the time of its establishment in 1948 was approximately 650 000. This population grew rapidly in the following years due to immigration, including Jews fleeing persecution in Europe and from other parts of the world. Natural resources Israel's natural resources were relatively limited. The country possessed some arable land, particularly in the coastal plains and the Galilee region. However, it faced challenges such as water scarcity and a lack of significant mineral resources. Educational facilities In 1948, Israel had a developing educational system. Efforts were made to establish schools and educational infrastructure to cater to the needs of the growing population. Hebrew was promoted as the primary language of instruction. Military power At the time of its establishment, Israel faced immediate military challenges from neighboring Arab states. The Israeli Defense Forces IDF, were formed from various pre-state Jewish militias such as the Haganah, Palmach, and Ergen. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, Israel managed to secure its independence through a combination of strategic planning, determination, and international support. Financial condition, Israel's financial condition in 1948 was precarious. The newly established state faced significant economic challenges, including the absorption of a large influx of immigrants, the cost of building infrastructure, and ongoing military expenditures. Economic data, in the early years of statehood, Israel's economy was largely agrarian, with agriculture playing a vital role. However, efforts were made to diversify the economy and develop industry. Economic growth was supported by initiatives such as land reclamation, industrialization projects, and foreign aid. As last update of January 2022, here's a snapshot of Israel's present condition across various aspects. Population Israel's population has grown significantly since 1948. As of 2022, it is estimated to be around 9 million people. This growth is fueled by both natural increase and immigration, including Jewish immigrants from around the world. Natural resources Israel still faces challenges in terms of natural resources, particularly water scarcity. However, advancements in technology, such as desalination plants and water recycling, have helped mitigate some of these challenges. The country continues to invest in innovation and research to address its resource needs. Educational facilities, Israel has a well-developed educational system, with a strong emphasis on both traditional academic subjects and technological innovation. The country is known for its universities and research institutions, which contribute to its reputation as a hub for technological and scientific advancements. Military power, Israel maintains a formidable military, known as the Israel Defense Forces, IDF. It is one of the most technologically advanced and well-equipped militaries in the world. Israel's military capabilities are shaped by its unique security challenges and its commitment to ensuring its own defense. Financial condition, Israel has emerged as a leading economy in the Middle East, with a strong emphasis on technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. The country has a highly developed financial sector and is home to numerous high-tech startups and multinational corporations. Despite geopolitical challenges, Israel's economy has shown resilience and continues to grow. Economic data, Israel's economy has diversified significantly since 1948, with sectors such as technology, agriculture, pharmaceuticals, and tourism playing key roles. The country has a high standard of living and a relatively low unemployment rate. Israel also benefits from a strong relationship with the United States and other key allies, which helps support its economy and security. Overall, Israel has made remarkable progress since its establishment in 1948, despite facing ongoing security challenges and regional instability. It has emerged as a vibrant democracy, a global leader in technology and innovation, and a key player in the Middle East and beyond. Comparing education systems across countries involves considering factors such as literacy rates, enrollment rates, educational attainment, curriculum, infrastructure, and educational outcomes. Here's a broad comparison of education in Israel with the countries that gained independence around the same time in 1948. 
India, India has made significant strides in expanding access to education since independence. However, challenges such as unequal access, quality of education, and high dropout rates persist, particularly in rural areas. The Indian education system is vast and diverse, with a mix of public and private schools, as well as a range of educational boards and curricula. Pakistan, Pakistan's education system faces challenges such as low enrollment rates, gender disparities, and inadequate infrastructure. Efforts to improve education include the provision of free and compulsory primary education and initiatives to enhance the quality of teaching and learning. Pakistan has a mix of public, private, and religious schools, with variations in curriculum and standards. Myanmar, Burma Myanmar's education system has suffered from underfunding, limited access, and political interference. While strides have been made to improve access to education, particularly at the primary level, challenges remain in terms of quality, infrastructure, and teacher training. Myanmar's education system includes both government and private schools, with variations in curriculum and standards. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka has a relatively high literacy rate and a strong emphasis on education. The country provides free education up to the secondary level and has made significant investments in infrastructure and teacher training. Sri Lanka's education system includes both government and private schools, with a national curriculum and standardized examinations. Jordan, Jordan has made progress in expanding access to education and achieving high literacy rates. The country provides free education up to the secondary level and has invested in improving infrastructure and teacher quality. Jordan's education system includes both public and private schools, with a standardized national curriculum. Syria and Lebanon, both Syria and Lebanon have relatively high literacy rates compared to other countries in the region. However, educational infrastructure has been severely affected by conflict and instability in recent years. Efforts to maintain education services include providing temporary learning spaces, teacher training, and curriculum adaptation. Indonesia, Indonesia has made significant efforts to improve access to education and achieve universal primary education. Challenges include disparities in access between urban and rural areas, as well as variations in quality across regions. Indonesia's education system includes a mix of public, private, and religious schools, with variations in curriculum and standards. In comparison, Israel has a highly developed education system with high enrollment rates, strong emphasis on science and technology, and a well-trained teaching workforce. Israel invests heavily in education, with a focus on research and innovation. The country has a mix of public, private, and religious schools, with a standardized national curriculum and high academic standards. Israel's education system is characterized by its emphasis on Hebrew language and Jewish history and culture, alongside a strong emphasis on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM) subjects.